Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to build and review this Malt B KE4 Tour TC 5 wood. This is a club pack offered by Malt B, a component maker. You can build it yourself. And I want to see how this stacks up. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into the build. Overall, it looks a really nice and sharp looking head. This is the shaft that comes with it. It's a Malt B Pro Series. Uh, this is the trim code I'm using, W19. That's going to tell me how to... Uh, tip trim it. So I look here for W19 on that line there and then I slide over to the right until I find 5 wood and that tells me I need to tip trim it by I believe it was uh, 1.5 inches. So we take that information and we go to tip trim it. So I take my measurement measuring tape here, measure 1.5 inches, make a blue sharpie line extend that sharpie line. I use the rotary tool on my Dremel to go ahead and cut uh, the graphite shaft. Next I take some sandpaper and I braid the tip so that the epoxy will stick properly. I think I'm using 100 grit here just to remove the paint and scuff up the graphite. But I don't want to really dig into the graphite itself too much. I really just want to remove the paint and give the exterior a little bit of something to grab onto. It's a paper towel to clean it off. I'm mixing up some Golf Works two-part epoxy. I use the lines method. So I basically draw a certain number of lines and I take the other one and I match it with the same number of lines. You can also measure it by weight if you want to be more precise, but this has always worked fine for me. Then I give it a good thorough mix with a toothpick, going back and forth all across the different surfaces, giving it a very, very thorough mix. A little bit goes into the ferrule. Ferrule goes onto the shaft. And I put a little bit on the shaft as well. Just want to make sure the ferrule has epoxy to hold it from slipping. The ferrule goes on. Now the ferrule is going to actually slide off a lot of that epoxy. So it's maybe a little bit wasteful to put so much on there at that point. Just pushed it. Using the head now to push the ferrule on to the shaft further. I'm going to add a little more epoxy back on to make sure I get a good bond with the club head. And then I'm going to slide this guy on, give it another push, make sure it's seated fully, rotate it a little bit to make sure that the shaft is pointing the way I want, give it a couple taps against the ground, and then I use a paper towel to wipe away the excess. You really want to make sure that you keep your fingers clean at this point. It's easy for the glue to get a little sticky, and basically any epoxy that's left on the surface of this stuff is going to be really hard to remove later on. So you really want to make sure that you uh, get all of the epoxy wiped away with a clean part of the paper towel as you possibly can. It's definitely going to be worth it later on. Make sure it's seated really well and then we're going to let this bad boy dry overnight. So here we are the next day. Now I'm going to butt trim this to length. I believe I measured standard length for 5 wood at 42 inches. So make a sharp B line there and use my Dremel tool again to cut up the shaft tip off. I added some layers of tape using some mineral spirits and a new grip. I finagle it on, push it in all the way, and sometimes I need to use a little compressed air to get it to sit just right, but this time it worked no problem. Doing logo side down. I'm using a box cutting tool to remove the tape. Just being a little careful not to get into the paint. Just want to cut through the tape so that that's easy to remove. Now I'll take a little paper towel with some Goo Gone to just clean all that up. 
and we've got a golf club. Once the mineral spirits dries, it should be ready to play. Really, really nice, sharp looking club. I like the blackout theme here. With the head and the shaft, everything looks really nice. Very sharp looking club. All right, guys, I want to do a little bit of a test comparison. I've got the new Maltby KE4 Tour TC5 with 18 degrees in loft. Uh, this has a regular flex shaft. This club's actually going to go to my dad. But while I've still got it, I want to test it. I've got a Cobra F8 Plus uh, 5 wood at 18 and a half degrees loft. And I also have a uh, Callaway Epic Flash Hybrid at 18 degrees loft. We're going to hit these three, get some numbers using my uh, Bushnell Launch Pro, and uh, see how this guy performs. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is the summary of the data that I pulled. You can see here I hit several shots with each club. Try to give a little bit of a representative uh, average here. On the right side here, you can see the three clubs with their averages. Ball speed at 135, 135, and 136. So actually the Malt B averaged just even a slightly higher ball speed, one mile an hour. Uh, for launch angle, all of them were about 13. For carry, all of them were between 197 and 201. And then backspin was at about 5,000. Uh, overall, I've actually felt like the Malt B performed extremely well. And the numbers here, I think, are definitely in line and very comparable to what I would get from another major OEM. So it's definitely hanging in there with the Cobra and Callaway offering. I realize that none of these, these clubs are not a perfect comparison to one another. Uh, you know, the Callaway is a hybrid. The Cobra is a five-wood. And the Malt B is has a regular regular flex shaft, also five wood. So there are some differences there, but ultimately, I actually think the numbers here for all three of these clubs being very similar in loft, the results are very very similar. Uh, I think that the Malt B really shows that it can go toe for toe with any of the major OEM offerings, and uh, was was really pleased with it. So. Um, Certainly something that I'm eager to see how it goes, and actually this is destined for my dad's bag, so hopefully he will enjoy it and play it for many years. But hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. See you again soon. Thanks. Bye.